Hi, I'm Edward and this is the guide to Mandelbrot Maps, which is the basis of my MSc project. Mandelbrot Maps is a fractal explorer for the Mandelbrot set and the associated Julia curves. The Mandelbrot set, shown on the left hand side, depicts the behavior of the points on the complex plane under the iterative function z of n plus 1 is equal to z of n squared plus c, where we set z0 that is our first z to 0 and c to the point that we want to draw. If while doing this iterative process a point escapes to infinity, then we say that that point is not part of the Mandelbrot set, otherwise we say that the point is bounded within the Mandelbrot set. Points outside the Mandelbrot set are colored according to the number of iterations required for the point to escape the set. For example, over here we see points that escaped after one iteration, over here after two, after three, and so on. Points within the Mandelbrot set are colored as white. On the right hand side we see the Julia curves. There is only one Mandelbrot set, however there is a Julia curve for each point on the complex plane. So each Julia curve is said to be parameterized by a point on the complex plane. Using the same iterative function, that is z of n plus 1 is equal to z of n squared plus c, we set z0 to the point that we want to draw and c to the parameter of the Julia curve. Points are then colored in the same way. So, by moving the mouse around over the Mandelbrot set, that is, by moving around the complex plane, we are changing the c parameter for the Julia curve, and as we move we can notice that the Julia curve is changing. Note that I can lock the Julia curve generation by clicking on the Mandelbrot set. A pin will show the, the c parameter that the Julia curve has been locked on. There are two theorems that Mandelbrot maps allows us to study. The first of these states that if we pick a point for the parameter for the Julia curve from within the Mandelbrot set, then the Julia curve is entirely continuous. If on the other hand the Julia curve parameter is picked from outside the Mandelbrot set, the Julia curve shatters into infinitely many disconnected pieces. If we focus our attention on the border of the Mandelbrot set, we get intricate images for the Julia curve. Remember that points are classified as outside the set if they start escaping to infinity after a number of iterations. This means that a point can be misclassified as not escaped if it has not been iterated enough times. To ensure that this does not happen, Mandelbrot Maps provides a continuous mode which keeps improving the image after it has been generated. Let us see an example of this. I will zoom into the Mandelbrot set by using the scroll wheel on my mouse. You can also move around simply by clicking and dragging the canvas. So, the point over here seems to be within the Mandelbrot set as, as, it, as it has been colored white. Also, its Julia curve seems to be connected. If we use continuous mode on the Julia curve, we notice that it fills out and that it is totally disconnected. In fact, if we go back and use continuous mode on the Mandelbrot set, we notice that that point is actually outside the Mandelbrot set. Instead of using the automatic continuous mode, you can also manually adjust the de level of detail shown by using the detail slider. And as you change the detail slider, you are automatically changing the maximum number of iterations that it's performed. Another important theorem states that the Mandelbrot set resembles the Julia curve around the C parameter for the Julia curve. So, to enable us to study this further, we have implemented a simple mechanism whereby right-clicking on a point shows the same area of the Julia curve. So I will zoom in a little bit further over here, and when I right-click, the both areas will be shown together, and we can see very striking similarities between both, both Julia curves. So let's go back to the initial views. And we can discuss another fascinating property of the Mandelbrot set. That is, that you can find mini copies of it around the set. So, if I start zooming in here, we see another mini Mandelbrot, 
and if I zoom in the analogous location on this Mandelbrot set I can find another one and this goes on and on and on infinitely many times to make your experience exploring fractals better this tool provides a save image feature for sharing the screen so just sim simple save dialog box and it also provides a way of sharing the screen with your friends so we can either copy and paste and di directly share the link or else you can use this button to post the link directly on your Facebook profile. Have fun exploring these magnificent fractals.